Hey guys, today I'm going to share how I've set up my Simu to run on a very low-end CPU. Um, I have an Asus N73 with an i7 second generation processor, a 2630QM. It has 2 GHz and 900 MHz turbo boost, so 2.9. And I'm going to show all the steps that I've taken to get some smooth gameplay out of Simu. So, um, first let's start off uh, just blank. I'm gonna quickly disable some things and explain. Well, if I run my Simu just normally with some patch supply, I have a very stable 20 FPS and that's already really good for my processor. And the way I have achieved that is I am on Windows 10 right now and I installed NVIDIA's latest drivers, which I came out two days ago, which is uh, 385.25. And I installed those for my GTX 960. And that got me a huge of improvements, but now my performance is not based on my GPU anymore. It's all CPU based. So I have taken some steps to get more performance out of Simu, and I'm gonna show a couple of things that I've done. The first thing I've done is in the NVIDIA control panel, of course you're gonna you add Simu, and then you put it on NV, high performance NVIDIA processor, that's pretty logical, and you enable threaded optimization. So threaded optimization on on, and power management mode prefer maximum performance. Okay, next you're gonna download a tool that's named, um, this is a special version, it's the Obsidian Team or something, but it's called Throttle Stop. And with Throttle Stop, you can uh, control the speed clock of your processor on a laptop. So you, can't, you can overclock with this, but not with my processor, you need an unlocked processor. So all I did is I un unchecked this BD approach, and that's, uh, I think, for processor hot protection or something and that turns off thermal throttling so normally if your processor reaches like 87 degrees it will turn the clock speed down so it can cool off the problem is um, if you check on the side you can see that my processor's max temperature while running Simu is 94 degrees on almost all cores my processor can go to 100 degrees so I'm pretty good but this is without thermal throttling and having Simu open for like an hour. So you're pretty safe with this and it won't overheat and it won't throttle down either so you're not gonna get stutters. I still have speed step enabled because I want to have my processor throttle down when I don't do anything but as long as Simu is running it's not throttling down once it reaches certain temperatures. Um, that's what helps and that gets me like this 21 fps the thing is if i move around it's you see my frame rate drops it stabilized after but if i like move around to new areas it's 20 now but you see sometimes it goes to 15 and it goes to 70 and it's bugging because i'm on that limit where you're pretty close to good performance but just not cut it so there's just just enough stutter to make you annoyed so many people said that on low-end computers you can use cheat engine to use a speed hack and that's what i also did but since i'm so close all i do is enable the speed hack put it on 1.5 and apply that and that will get me down to like 10 fps stable if i apply it correctly let me check that see more Speed hack 1.5 apply and that drops my FPS down and it's on 50 now but I think it will go lower and what I also do is instead of capping my frame rate to 30 with river tuner I actually put it down on 18 or 19 and I think 18 was better but you can run 19 and what that does is it will cap it so that it still runs a little above real time but not that it glitches out there's this problem with this that if you're in a shrine you have full fps so then it's about running above speed so it's going to like 120 percent speed but with capping the frame rate on 18 or 19 or using 
just makes it so that the game is still fluid so I can show that you can see I'm running a little above the speed but if I increase the frame rate let me increase the frame rate you can see that sometimes I'm just teleport a little forward because it's going a little faster every once in a while I'm not sure if it's doing that now because it's raining but if the weather is more stable it doesn't do that if I could find the shrine that would be easier to showcase so let me check if I can find a shrine but at the moment you can see I have 12 FPS but this is much more playable than the 20 FPS that I just had because this stays at like 12 FPS and the speed is doubled so I keep like 20 frames stable but if I have the 20 frames without a uh, cheat engine it will go down to 15, 14 and that's not good that will be noticeable so I'm not good with this game yet because I haven't played it really yet so I need to check there was a shrine here but I'm not 100% sure where it is I think I see it but we're gonna have to check but as you can see now my game is stable even though I'm at like 11 12 FPS it is stable though so that's how I can get mine running uh, yeah it's wet so I think the shrine is right here yes it is so I can show what it looks like inside the shrine But this, this is playable. I can play this now really. Yesterday, I think two days ago's video, it was good. But um, I had, didn't really test everywhere. So the 15 FPS drop is noticeable. So this is a much better option. So it is not much of a speed boost. You just use Cheat Engine to put it to 1.5. And then you cap your frame rate. But now it's on uh, 20 capped. And if you look... Now, see, sometimes it runs faster. It's good now. It just, it just does. Sometimes it just, like, goes a little faster. I think 20 is good, actually. I think it's if I go higher. Let me get up. So I have put it to 23. Now you see, it stutters. It goes faster, faster, faster. And that you can cap with River Tuner. So if you put it on 20, you're Gucci. So as you can see, I'm running really stable now. The thing is, in the shrine, I don't even need speed engine, uh, speed hack because my mouse just died on me. So I gotta use my pointer. But you can see I can get now 30 FPS. And this is real time fluid. This is without the speed hack. But that's only in shrine. So this is perfectly playable. But not outside of the game so if I go out I would go back to like this 2015 thing so you can try all these methods I did I strongly recommend updating your Nvidia drivers because that helped me out a lot seems like Nvidia did something good at least and I'm using an external GPU so if I get a bunch of performance improvement then a full-size video card inside a desktop should definitely get or if you have like a 960M inside your laptop but um, like I said, this is not GPU based for me anymore. Now this is based on my um, processor. So I'm looking into upgrading my processor because like I said, I'm on that close edge and I have two options to upgrade. So what I can do is get like a processor that has 200 megahertz more, which I know will work. Or I can take a gamble. There is a processor that is not supported by my BIOS, but is fully supported by my socket. And it has a 900 megahertz increase. So I would have 3.6 gigahertz instead of 2.9 turbo boost. But um, I'm not sure if that's going to work. So this is with this. Oh, I'm not sure if I enabled speed hack. Hang on. Now it is. See, this is with the speed hack, 20 FPS cap, this is good. You still very slightly get that improved speed every once in a while. If that's annoying you, you can go down to 19. I think 19 is what I was running. So I'm going to cap it at 19. And now this is real time. And if I go out, it's it's going down to like 12 FPS. But these, these look like 20 FPS because of the speed increase. So um, that's probably all I think. Um, so let me conclude that. NVIDIA control panel, power management mode on prefer maximum performance, threaded optimization on on, uh, graphics processor, of course the high NVIDIA graphics processor, throttle stop and disabling BD Pro, 
pro processor hot so it doesn't um, thermal throttle you. You can also use the clock modulation stuff to get your processor running to 100% all the time, but I don't recommend that. I think this works. Oh, and also another thing, if you start at Simu, you should let it sit idle for like 10 minutes because as you can see, my RAM usage is six gigabytes now, but every time I start up Simu, it actually goes to 12. There's 12 gigs in use, so that means if you wait 10 minutes, you will see at one point your RAM usage will stop dropping and goes down. So I have 12 gigs of RAM installed, so if I run Simu at the beginning, I have like 99% RAM in use, and now I only have 50% in use, so that's much, much better, and that also helps with the lag, so. And as you can see, I'm outside, and this is pretty playable. So I'm gonna enjoy this. Well, at least not now, because I need to make more videos, but that's how I got Simu running on my second generation i7 processor. I hope that some people of you get now a playable game just because of this, but I'm not sure. It's very odd because a couple of days ago I had the same stuff but it still didn't work. It looked like the Nvidia update was the most noticeable, noticeable difference for my game. But I'm not completely sure. At least now this works. I've even reinstalled Windows since this worked yesterday to make sure it's not just a one-time thing and this setup works. So that's what I did. Well, thanks for watching. Bye.